Uh, today's video, we're still in the division series, okay? And this is talking about zeros. What do you do when you have a zero in the divisor and the dividend? Okay, this is a trick video. This is this is help you simplify what you're doing. Okay, so zeros in the divisors and the dividend. We gotta review our vocabulary. Quotient. That's the answer to a division problem. Okay, the divisor. That's the number you divide by, and the dividend. That's the number you start with. Okay. So the dividend is the amount that you want to divide. Okay. Zeros in the divisor and the dividend. What do we do? Okay, here's a trick for you. Mark it out, mark it out. 24 divided by 4 is what? 6? Right? That's my answer. That's all it is. Now we can check our answer. We always check our answer. 6 times 4. 40, right? 6 times 40 is 0, and then 2, 24. The answer to our original problem, right? The answer to our original problem will always be found. Boom. 6 times 40 is 240. That's my answer. Okay, so 40 goes into 240 six times. The answer is 6. Okay, what do we do? Oh my gosh, I have one zero in the divisor, two zeros in the dividend. So I gotta mark one out, gotta keep it even. So what is 240 divided by four? Okay, hmm, what do we do? Four goes into 24 six times. Now we have one zero there, 60. That's my answer, okay? 60 times 40, zero, right? Because we're going to, we got the zero, so we scoot over one. Zero, and then six times four is 240, or 24. 2,400. Boom. That's my answer. 60. 40 goes into 2,400? 60 times. So, this is a trick. This is, this is to help simplify, right? This question actually came from a star exam. 660 divided by 30. How do we do that? Well, let's, let's eliminate the zeros. 66 divided by 3 is what? 22. 3 goes into 6 two times. 3 goes into 6 two times. What does? That's my answer. That is my final answer. And we'll check it. 22 times 30. Right here's, here's the original question. What do you get? 0, 6, 6. 660. It matches. You have to, to keep balance. If you take a 0 out of the divisor, you have to take a 0 out of the dividend. Simple as that. 6 goes into 12 two times. Right? Two times. And then there's one 0. So what's my answer? 20. 20. And look. 120 divided by 6 is 6 goes into 12 two times. I have one zero, 20. So 20 times 60, okay, I have a zero. 6 times 0 is 0. 6 times 2 is 12. 1,200 matches my problem, my dividend from the original question. My answer is correct. zeros. What do I do? Mark them out. Mark them out. Look, I have two zeros in the divisor, two zeros in the dividend. Two goes into 14 seven times. Right? 200 times seven is what? Zero. Zero. Two times seven, 14. 1400. That's what I started with. The answer is seven. If you have zeros in the divisor and in the dividend, and there, you can mark them out equally, right? Two zeros, one, two. Oh, I only have, I have three zeros. What do I do? Well, I'll just mark them out. One, two, it's even. Two here, right? Two and two there. So that is what we can do. Well, that leaves us with 180 divided by three. 18 divided by three is six. We have one zero. So 60, 60 is my answer. 60 times 300. Let's look at this. Zero and six times zero. 
zero, six times zero, zero, six times three, 18. 18,000 is the number that I started with originally. This is a trick. You gotta practice this. It's really helpful. And notice, every time that I solve an answer, I tricked it, right? You are not allowed to use tricks. You're not allowed to do anything without checking your answer. Okay, division problems are great because you always get the right answer because you can always check your answer. So circle back, check your answers. When multiplied together, the quotient and the divisor should equal the dividend. Divisor times the quotient equals dividend. One, two, one, two, done. Seven, seven times 200. What is that? Seven times 200? Um, 200 times seven, zero, zero, 14. The right answer. Seven is the right answer. Three, one, two, one, two. Just had this problem last page. Guys, thank you so much. Um, remember, this is a video, so if I went quick, you can go back, rewind, watch it. Uh, let me know if you have any other video requests. I'll be happy to make them. Thanks so much.